Apple's next big leap. iOS 26, iPadOS 26, macOS 26. What you need to know. A new era begins. Apple embraces calendar-based software naming. Apple is reportedly preparing for a major transition in its software ecosystem, and this time, it's not just about new features, it's about how the entire system is versioned and presented. According to leaks and sources ahead of WWDC 2025, Apple is set to align the naming of its software with a calendar year. That means we won't be seeing iOS 18. Instead, we'll jump straight to iOS 26, with iPadOS 26 and macOS 26 following the same convention. This change might seem cosmetic on the surface, but it has far-reaching implications. The move to a calendar-based versioning system brings consistency across platforms like iOS, macOS, watchOS, iPadOS, and tvOS. Currently, each of these platforms follows its own version number, often confusing users and developers alike. For example, macOS is already on version 15, while iOS is at 17, and watchOS is somewhere else entirely. With the change, users will find it easier to know which year a version came from, helping align software versions with hardware and event timelines. WWDC 2025 is almost here. Mark the dates. Apple's annual Worldwide Developers Conference, WWDC, is scheduled from June 9th to June 13th, 2025. This is where Apple unveils the future of software across all its platforms. The event is closely watched by millions of developers, tech enthusiasts, and Apple users worldwide. This year's WWDC is being described as one of the most pivotal in Apple's history, not only because of version number changes, but also because of the massive design overhaul Apple has been working on behind the scenes. Internally codenamed Solarium, this project could redefine how we interact with Apple devices across all form factors. Older devices may be left behind. While the new software is sure to bring exciting changes, it comes with a familiar downside. Many older Apple devices are likely to lose support. Apple typically phases out aging hardware when launching new OS versions, and this year, the list of unsupported devices could be longer than usual. iPhones expected to support iOS 26. iPhone 11, 11 Pro, 11 Pro Max. iPhone 12, 12 Mini, 12 Pro, 12 Pro Max iPhone 13, 13 mini, 13 Pro, 13 Pro Max. iPhone 14, 14 Plus, 14 Pro, 14 Pro Max. iPhone 15, 15 Plus, 15 Pro, 15 Pro Max. iPhone 16 lineup, E, Base Plus, Pro, Pro Max. iPhone SE, second gen, and later. iPhones likely to lose support. iPhone 10, iPhone 8 series and older. Possibly some iPhone XR slash XS models, depending on feature requirements. If you're still holding onto a device from before 2019, now may be the time to consider an upgrade. iPads expected to get iPadOS 26. iPad Pro, 2018 and newer. iPad Air, 3rd gen and newer. iPad Mini, 5th gen and newer. iPad, 8th gen and newer. iPads likely dropped iPad Pro, 1st and 2nd Gen iPad Air, 1st and 2nd Gen iPad Mini, 4th Gen and older iPad, 7th Gen and earlier So, if your iPad was released before 2018, chances are it won't receive iPadOS 26. This is especially critical for students, artists, and business users still using older models with the Apple Pencil one. Macs expected to support macOS 26, rumored name Mac OS Tahoe, MacBook Pro, 2019 and newer, MacBook Air, M1 and newer, iMac, 2020 and newer, Mac Mini, M1 and newer, Mac Studio, all models, Mac Pro, 2019 and newer, Macs likely dropped, 2018 MacBook Pro, 2017 iMac Pro, Intel-based MacBook Air, 2020, any pre-2019 Macs with older Intel chips. As Apple continues transitioning its entire lineup to Apple Silicon, we're seeing a clear sunset of Intel-based Mac support. Project Solarium, a complete design redesign. Now, let's talk about one of the most exciting updates, 
Apple is preparing a massive visual refresh across all its operating systems. Codenamed Project Solarium, this redesign will be the biggest since iOS 7's flat design revolution in 2013. The new UI will draw inspiration from Vision OS, the software that powers the Apple Vision Pro headset. Expect rounded, pill-shaped icons, translucent glass-like interface layers, soft shadows and glowing effects, fluid transitions and animations, overall smoother and more immersive user experience. This design direction aims to make Apple's OS platforms feel more cohesive, futuristic, and immersive, especially as the company moves into AR slash VR and mixed reality ecosystems. Functionality upgrades and smarter tools. Beyond the cosmetic, Apple is also focusing on practical features that improve real-world usability. Some of the most rumored features include Battery Health Plus, Smarter Battery Usage and Diagnostics, Improved Wi-Fi Sharing, Even Easier Sharing Between Apple and Non-Apple Devices, Universal Multitasking, Better Handling of App Windows, Drag and Drop and Split View, Desktop Mode for iPhones, Use your iPhone like a Mac when plugged into an external display via USB-C. Unified Game Center, real-time sync of game progress, achievements, and multiplayer support across iOS, macOS, and Apple TV. These updates could make Apple devices more competitive in gaming, productivity, and professional workflows, especially with the rise of mobile-first computing. Unified Gaming Ecosystem. Apple is also said to be working on a unified gaming experience, likely built around Game Center and Apple Arcade. The goal? Let users start a game on iPhone, continue on Mac, and finish on iPad or Apple TV, with all progress and achievements synced seamlessly. It's a direct shot at platforms like Xbox Cloud, PlayStation Remote Play, and Steam Link. If successful, this could finally make Apple a serious contender in the gaming world, a market it's long struggled to crack. Will we see new hardware? WWDC is largely a software-focused event, but there's always a chance Apple may tease new hardware. This year, the rumors suggest a possible preview of the next Mac Pro, likely powered by M4 Ultra, a glimpse of the iPhone 17 Air, Apple's rumored slim and lightweight iPhone, Vision Pro 2 or new accessories for the Vision ecosystem. However, Apple is expected to keep the spotlight on its software vision, particularly the name changes and the next generation design language. Final thoughts. Time to upgrade? If you're using an Apple device released before 2019, you should brace for the possibility that your device won't receive the upcoming updates. These software updates aren't just visual, they're being built around the power and architecture of Apple Silicon chips. The shift to iOS 26, iPadOS 26, and macOS 26 marks the beginning of a new era, one that unifies naming, design, performance, and cross-device functionality across the Apple ecosystem.